Good morning, everybody. So, it has been quite a while since I have posted up something on YouTube regarding my um, my enteroidic treatments and 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 um, HPV tests and all that. So. <coughs> Just so you guys know, I'm in Bosnia and I um, I just ended up being stuck here because of Corona. Um, anyways, so I actually, last year, I did a test and I never ended up picking it up. But um, because the clinic didn't call me in Sydney, I, because usually, like, I've had that much experience, I know they'll call you straight away even if it's in one um <laughs> so they didn't call me and i just to be honest i had quite a bit of anxiety to go pick it up let's be honest still to this day i have so much fucking anxiety when i go pick it up or when i even have to do it i actually delay doing it because i'm still you know that's how traumatized i am from the fear of you know hpv and abnormalities Anyways, so, but like I said, they call you straight away. If something's wrong, they'll call you straight away. And particularly in my case, because I had um, SIN 2, SIN 3, and then, anyways. So, my sister's actually doing a blog about all sorts of things, and she's doing a blog on Dr. Nick Leroy. Um, well, actually, no, she's, she's uh, she hasn't decided whether she's going to do a blog purely on his story or our stories so mine and his anyways and um obviously she required me to uh get a pup test because <laughs> I didn't pick up my last one and um I did the pup test here and the clinic called me this morning and they just said it was all fine. So here it's the reverse. They'll call you and they'll tell you that it's fine. So you don't have to go to the fucking office and be all like, you know. Anyways, so thank God for that. And again, I can't explain to you how how traumatizing it is to wait for the results to... Anyways. Um, but I wanted to touch on, again, the medical industry. Um... When I went there, and she asked me about my history, I told her I had SIN2, SIN3, whatever it was, and HPV. And basically, when I said to her that it was treated with natural remedies, oh, uh, that's impossible. You can't, you can't cure HPV. I mean, you can't cure SIN2, 3 with natural remedies. And I remember watching Nick in one of his videos and he said oh, how's it possible to you know cure it naturally with sin one but you can't do it with sin two and sin three which makes no fucking sense these doctors are so fucking they don't even deserve the title of doctors because they are so narrow-minded they are so narrow-minded the moment you tell them that you did natural cures they just write it off they ignore it they don't even they don't they're not even curious to know why you did what you did and how come you got that um, result? Which is, like, I, if I was a doctor, I'd be like, wow, how'd you do that, you know? Anyways. And I said to her, no, I did. I had seen two, seen three. She's like, well, you didn't do a biopsy then. And I didn't, so that's true. I didn't want to get a biopsy. But, I mean, your pap test is fairly there. Like, it's not, it's not far off, whatever it is. You could have been wrong. It could have been, like, stage zero of cancer. So, anyways. I mean, I, f I felt you're, you're living evidence of what you're saying, but they're telling you it's impossible. Never, ever, ever believe the doctors, no matter what they say, if you think, and if particularly if you know that they are wrong. Never, no matter what. Uh, just because they are doctors, you know, th th this doesn't mean anything. The medical system is wrong. The medical system is so wrong. There is so many wrong things about the medical system. I can't even begin to explain how wrong the medical system is. The moment that they do not 
the moment they're not objective to why you did what you did and how you cured yourself is an automatic sign of no good. If I wasn't dependent of this fucking test, of these doctors, I would never, ever go to them. And I don't go to them. I don't. I really don't. Um, but that's that's my personal dilemma that I have with doctors and the medical system. I would go to a doctor if I believed that he was open-minded. Um, anyway, so that's my drama on fucking doctors. Um, but the other thing that I also wanted to say in terms of the Eshoric treatments, my cervix still is a little bit more sensitive, I can see, and even she said that as well. Um, but I think it's because I did uh, treatments more aggressively. So for anyone who is doing Eshoric treatments, I highly suggest once a week or whatever it is, twice a month, um, spread them out. So you you will get the result you want, but just so you don't, so so the cervix isn't as affected as a, as much. I mean, I'm using vaginal pessaries now, so I'm using St John's Wort vaginal pessaries, but I'm gonna make my own. I'm gonna make them with coconut oil and St John's Wort pessary. I mean St John's Wort oil, um, because I've got a lot on the uh, in the mountains here, um, so I'm gonna make it with coconut oil and. St. John's Wort, because it's really, really good, um, and I think it just might need a little bit more time, because I haven't, I haven't used the pessaries to heal it, and I think I need a little bit more time, I need healing pessaries, so, but, I mean, my cervix, my cervix looks completely fine, it's just, it's just, she said when I do the pap, when she did the pap, that, that it's a little bit more sensitive than usual, but that's, I mean, look, if I had to choose, again, I would do eschorotics all over again. All over again, without a doubt. So anyways, I've also started an Instagram page. So for anyone that's interested, I mean, obviously my videos have quite a, quite a bit more information than the Instagram page, but the Instagram page has just been started. So for anyone that's interested also in my Instagram page, I'll post it down here below. You guys can um, add yourselves and... Yes, we can stay in touch and you guys can ask me whatever you want, whatever you feel.